Ashilder started writing diaries so she could read about the parts of her life she couldn't remember, and would tear out the pages containing memories she would rather stay forgotten. Under the alias Lady Charade, Ashilder caught the eye of the King of Samarkand and married him, telling him the story of how she met Sinbad and Ali Baba under the alias Ash Elder. Using the alias Alis, Ashilder married Tomas and stayed with him for 20 years. Their relationship produced three children, Essie, Johan, and Rue. Essie was unexpected and Ashilder believed she did not want children until Essie was born, then she realized how much she loved her daughter. She decided to have two more children so that they could comfort one another one day when she would inevitably leave them to protect the secret of her immortality. On the 9th of August 1348, Ashilder took her children and left their lives in France on a boat for Britain. She chose to leave Tomas because she feared his growing comments about how having three children in 20 years didn't appear to have changed her body and he would ask if her hair grew. During the voyage her children caught the plague. She tried to decide which one of them to save with the second Meyer medical repair kit, but ultimately decided to save none of them. She kept the pages in her diary detailing this loss to remind her to never have any more offspring as they would all die eventually. In 1415, Ashilder took part in the Battle of Agincourt, declaring to be able to fire six arrows in under a minute. Soon becoming bored of life, Ashilder turned to living a double life as a criminal, stealing the riches from wealthy people while also living as Lady Me, with a servant, Clayton, whom she gradually became bored with. By this time she had become cold, detached and saw little meaning in life since by her point of view their lives were like smoke. She also became bitter at the doctor for not taking her with him in his travels and leaving her to move through life. One day, me found a Leonian named Leandro resting in her courtyard. He claimed to have crashed on earth and they formed a partnership in order to retrieve the eyes of Hades. The amulet would allow Leandro to leave earth and he agreed to take me with him. While committing a failed robbery on Mr. Fanshawe and Lucy Fanshawe, during which time she affected a convincing male voice as part of her disguise. Me encountered the doctor again while he was searching for the eyes of Hades. The doctor didn't recognize her until she removed her mask and reverted to her original voice. The doctor subsequently helped me steal the eyes of Hades from the Fanshawe household, initially not knowing about me's partnership with Leandro. After the doctor was introduced to Leandro, he learned of their plan to leave Earth by killing someone for a power source. Me was originally going to use her butler but eventually settled on highwayman Sam Swift the quick as the victim since he was sentenced to die anyway. However, after the doctor stopped Swift's hanging with a fake pardon using his psychic paper, Me placed the eyes of Hades on Swift herself, killing him to open the portal. After the portal was opened, Me realized that Leandro was lying and was using her so that his brethren could invade Earth. Horrified by what she had done, me used the second Meyer kit to revive Sam Swift and close the portal, leading to Leandro being executed by the Leonians. She later had a drink with Sam and the doctor. When she asked the doctor if Sam was immortal now he replied that he wasn't sure. She promised to watch the doctor for as long as he was alive in order to protect Earth from him.